like what were the biggest challenges that you were facing when you decided to start working together? Yeah, um, I would say the biggest challenges were one, making that type of financial investment in myself. Um, I definitely knew it was time to work with someone, but to take that leap of faith that putting um, that type of investment was going to be um, beneficial for me was definitely like the one thing that in the beginning I felt a little hesitation about. Yeah, for sure. I remember that being a hesitation of yours. I'm glad you worked through it and invested in yourself. Me too. It was a bold move. Um, okay. And then what else had you tried to kind of address what you were working on before? Like, I know you had done a bunch of things, but yeah, what other things were you kind of exploring before coaching? Yeah. I mean, I've tried so many things. Um, <laughs> I did a lot of reading. So there was a lot of different books that I read, whether it be about entrepreneurship or spirituality, um, business, all those kind of things. I also, um, now I'm like blanking on everything that I've done. <laughs> all the things. Um, you um, well, obviously Reiki, but you're kind of still doing that now. And what else is you? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I you talked about. Yeah, I mean, I've done, I've done so many things. I'm someone who really enjoys learning and, you know, trying different ways to understand myself and move through things that are like perceived blockages. So, um, yeah, I mean, reading looking up like different types of coaching. I, this is the first time that I had worked with someone for this amount of time consistently. I've done one-off sessions with people in the past, whether it be like intuitives or, um, you know, anything like that. But this was the first time that I had like committed to working with someone for a certain amount of time. Yes. Big commitment, but love that you went for it. Um, okay. And then did you have any concerns before working me as your coach? Like about me in particular, was there anything that you were like a little bit like, hmm, I don't know, this is a good match? No, I, I didn't feel any hesitation about working with you. I'm very big on my intuition and I felt very intuitively drawn to work with you. And I think that I was sensing from what I picked up from when we worked with each other was that we had very similar paths, like the things that I was going through and working through now or things that you had, um, you know, in the past already moved through. So I think I was really picking up on the fact that you were going to be a good mentor for those specific things. Um, so I wouldn't say I felt any hesitation about working with you. I think the only hesitations um, I was feeling was my confidence in myself and like what I could um, what I could do in that amount of time. Yeah, for sure. I remember that going in. We've definitely moved through a lot of that. So that's amazing. Um, okay. And then so yeah, just that kind of leads into so what kind of major shifts did you experience during the coaching process and what milestones did you reach? Yeah. So in the beginning, I was, I knew that I had a vision for my business and I knew it was evolving and I, you know, was ready to commit to figuring out what it was that I was doing. But I would say in the very beginning, I felt very lost about what it was going to look like and what I was doing. And in that time, I believe that I got super clear on what it is that I am doing with my business. Mm -hmm. And uh, you really helped me understand the whole concept of my business being a representation of myself and my life. And so understanding that a business evolves as a person evolves. So, you know, whatever I put out there now doesn't have to stay concrete and be what it is in the future. It can change as I change and also giving me that freedom that understanding that I need to put something out there to be able to have something to change instead of thinking it needs to be perfect. Um, so I think that was like one of the biggest things that um, I got out of the last three months was getting so clear on what it is I'm doing and actually starting to put things out there instead of keeping it in my mind and just continuing to like work on it up here versus putting it out there and letting it evolve as it's out 
in the, the world. For sure. True manifestation, right? You moved it from the mind out into reality. So that was amazing. Exactly. I know you have your website up now and your offers and everything is much more. I launched them yesterday. I don't know if you saw, but I put a story up about them. Oh, really? Oh my God, I'll check it out. Okay. It's a, yeah, you updated the website? Um, a little bit, but I'm just kind of keeping it where it is right now. Um, but I just put up a story telling people about it because I decided that I needed to just put it instead of again, planning over planning, yeah. you know, thinking that it needs to be this perfect post that is timed for the perfect time of day and all that. I just put up a video of me talking just like, Hey, this is what I'm doing. Cause it's similar to when I started weird. I launched it. I created it in June of last year, but I didn't launch it until November. And a lot of the reason why there was that much time in between when I created it versus I, when I launched it was because I had this image that it needed to be this like perfect launch yeah. and everything yeah. be good to go. And I really think that our time together helps me realize that I, it, the most important thing is just getting it out there yes. and letting it naturally evolve. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I'm trying to actively do now is I have something, put it out there and then let it, let it evolve from yes. that. Beautiful. Huge step for you. Huge transformation. Big shift. Um, okay. So then, yeah. How do you feel now? Like how has your life improved? I guess you kind of just spoke to that, but is there anything else that you can think of, of how that kind of spilled out into other areas of your life or other relationships or yeah, just anything that you want to speak to? Um, yeah, I mean, having my vision be so clear is, has been the biggest benefit because I really truly believe like I have a lot of things that I'm working on that are going to keep me busy and like engaged in my business. So identifying what those areas were, were super important. Um, yeah. And I, I mean, I also, in those three months, there was so many shifts that happened. So becoming clear on my vision was one of them, but I also, in that time built a really strong foundation and that was you know with my trust in my intuition and also kind of like my ritual routine mm -hmm. um and so those things are you know so important for me moving forward and just being able to remain calm and trusting in this process because being an entrepreneur it's so fulfilling and it also takes a lot of trust and surrender you know, for sure, yeah. you be able to really um, have the highest potential outcome, you know, be able to manifest. So um, continuing to build that foundation was super important as well, so that I felt like I could trust and release and not over complicate things because I feel like entrepreneurs overcomplicate things sometimes. They think they need to do all the programs and all of the, <laughs> you know, like right. buy all the things and do all the things. And from my experience, it, the most important thing you can do is invest in yourself through having someone to support you. Yeah. And truly, like, I mean, that's kind of what my business model is in a way as well. But I believe that we have everything we need inside and we just need to trust it. So having you were able to give me the space to express what was going through my mind and what ideas I had and give me that trust in myself to like create what I am creating. Yes. Yeah, that was a beautiful collaboration. I do remember that coming in that you really wanted to work on your confidence and yeah, just trust and flow and ease in the process. And then just even building that foundation for yourself and your rituals and routines. Like remember you were like, I just want to get my routines and rituals together. And I was like, girl, we are going to do that. And so much more <laughs> like that is going to be no. just the first layer. Um, so yeah, yeah, you did a ton of work there and you were super committed to the process. So, you know, that I'm just your biggest fan and you really just moved through so, so much. So Thank Congrats you. for doing that work. 
Um, okay, and then is there anything that just stands out as your biggest lesson or takeaway? I know you mentioned a bit of knowing that the business evolves as you evolve or that kind of like imperfect action. Is there anything that really just stands out or is it mainly those two themes or? Um, I think those are definitely the biggest themes, but I also really saw the importance of having support and you know, I, I really truly believe like having that space and that structure of having like a committed time every week where I was working with someone on this really was a catalyst to me being where I am now. Mm -hmm. I think it's so easy, especially when we might have other jobs or family or whatever it is that could complicate or make it more difficult to find the time to do something. Um, the structure of having that every single week, like really was a huge, um, huge catalyst for me. That's awesome. Yes. So needed. We all need somebody to be in this with us, right? Kind of walking yeah. us through. Okay. And then last question, if you wanted to recommend my services to a friend or a loved one, what would you say? Oh, I like that question. <laughs> um, I would say that you're very passionate about the mind and the ability to identify and shift perceptions and like things that are no longer serving you. And I think that it's perfect for someone who is ready to move into the next level of their life and like leave behind anything that is no longer serving their highest vision. Um, I truly believe that you are gifted in helping people like uh, join with their vision and really get clear on what it is that they're doing. Thank yeah. you. That's amazing. Thanks, Thank Jennifer. You. Yeah, it was so amazing working with you. And I'm so grateful that we got connected and that we were able to, yeah, just have this space and this time together. Huge transformation to both of us together, as always. I always learn yeah, things too. It was, I am so excited about everything that I've learned and everything that we've created and to see where this journey takes me.